Uh, excuse me for a minute. So we don't have any money. How are we going to pay off if somebody wins? With those tables and those dealers? Master inverted reducing valve. $250. Next. What do you got, sir? Carry on. 31 December 1941. Lieutenant Houghton has reached new heights in the art of scavenging. Like a spider in a web, he sits there and his victims come to him like flies bearing gifts. He's the only man I know who will probably be presented the Navy Cross at his court-martial. Celebrate New Year's Eve. Sir, we're mixing that red lead and that white lead like you said, but I don't think you're going to like it. We don't have much choice, Mo. We haven't got enough of either one to do the whole job, so we've got to mix them. That's a pretty strange color to be painting government property. I'll let it throw you, Mo. We're going to cover with gray anyway. Yes. Mr. Holden wasn't at the casino. Mr. Stovall, hereafter you will please refer to the casino as the supply depot. Where'd he go? Well, he and Uncle took off in the truck. Oh. They're not expected back until late. <laughs> Boy, that casino is really... J I mean, uh, there se seems to be a lot of activity at the uh, supply depot. Sir. Did you see what I saw? I don't know, sir. What? Come on. New Year's dinner. Mm. All right. Well, we're going to shop around a little bit. Come on. Mm. Mm. What do we do? Mm. No, that's not quite right. That's what I call a pig. All right, I'm gonna go around the back. Go in the front and distract them. But shh, man, ow, ow. Talk big talk to them. How do you talk big talk? Didn't you talk big when you were a kid? Oink, oink. No, that's too high. Lower, deep, from the throat. Oink. No, that's too deep. That's too deep. Now, right in the middle. Oink. Now, with affection. Oink.
What are they stopping for? It's a roadblock. What are we going to do? I don't know. Let's take a look. Cover us, Bailey. Well, they're shooting looters, you know. I know. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. What about this pig? What pig? What pig? This pig. I don't see any pig. You don't see any pig? Take off your coat. Take, take off my pig. coat? Take off your coat. Hey, you hold him. Hold him. Put it on the pig. Put, Put it, it on, on the, the pig. pig. Put it on the pig. You got a cap? You got a cap? Yes, sir. Yes, take sir. it out. Give me the cap. Give me the cap. Wait, wait. All right, hold him. Hold him. Stay here, Billy. Keep me covered. Good evening, Corporal. What are you doing out here? Uh, I'm Lieutenant Holden off the submarine to Sea Tiger. We're tied up for repairs. We were out trying to locate some spare diesel parts. What's that? Oh, that was Seaman Hornsby. How are you feeling, Seaman Hornsby? <laughs> He's not too well. What's the matter with him? Well, uh, he, he drinks uh, uh, gilly juice, you know, the alcohol from the torpedoes. Uh. Easy, sailor. I think we're going to have to get him back to the boat. If anything happens to him, we're in an awful lot of trouble. You see, he's the only radio operator we have. Uh. Uh. Easy, Hornsby. He don't look too good at that. No. You better let us take him to the hospital. Well, oh, oh, no, no, it's not necessary. You see, we have a doctor on board. Well, you better get this man to your doctor. Uh, thank you. Uh, Happy New Year, Corporal. Let him pass. Who were they? Three sailors off of a sub. A guy named Hornsby was sick. You should have seen him. Now I know why they call him submarines pig boats. Man, he was the ugliest. Captain, there's a couple of Army MPs out here that want to see you. MPs? MPs. Hinabol ko sila. Nakatakbo at sumakay sa truck. Okay, okay. Mga walang hiya. Magnanakaw. Saw this man claims the men stole a pig from his farm. Yung pamanding mas malaki sa lahat. Ang kanilang hinuli. Mas malaki sa lahat. The biggest one he had. They drove off in a truck. The only truck that passed us tonight was headed for this boat. Oh, that's ridiculous, Corporal. None of my men would... Is Lieutenant Holden back? I don't know, sir. Oh. Oh. Corporal? Sorry. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Watson? Lieutenant Holden was one of the men on the truck. He had two other men with him. Uh, Uncle and Seaman Hornsby. Seaman Hornsby? Yes, yeah, sir. He was drunk. They were bringing him back to the boat. Where is Seaman Hornsby? He's not feeling too well, sir. I didn't ask you that. Where is he? Well, he's been drinking. Where is he? In the officer's head. Uh-huh. Uh, just a minute. Well, the man's right. Undoubtedly, his pig was stolen. You might as well admit it, Mr. Holden. When Hornsby runs wild, there's no telling what he might do. He behaves like a perfect swine. Look, Corporal, he, he's in no condition to be reprimanded tonight. But I can assure you that tomorrow he's in for a good roasting. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we're going to have to take him in. Now, wait a minute, Corporal. Now, sometimes there's a reason for drinking. You see, Hornsby's been picked for a dangerous assignment. And there's not much chance that he'll come through it alive. Well, gee, I... I knew you'd understand. Well, if this man wants to drop the charges, I'm... Oh, I'm sure something can be arranged. How much is the pig worth? Ayoko! Ayoko don't pera! He begin me sakin' him, Bobby, go! He won't take American money with the Japanese... Ayoko! I don't know what you're saying.